Hi everyone! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lainey. If you're new here, I never started off introducing myself, but I feel like I really need to. Today, I'm going to be talking about five 2020 winter trends that I'm not only loving, but will definitely be wearing. I've been seeing these all over my Pinterest, Instagram, and those kinds of things. I don't know if these are like, you know how like companies like call out trends? I don't really know if these are like actually 2020 trends. These are things just I've been seeing and I've been picking up as trends and trends that I'm really liking and want to be wearing. So I have a list on my phone because apparently it's hard for me to remember five different trends. But if you want to see me style any of these trends, make sure to subscribe if you want to. I'll be doing a bunch of winter outfits videos really soon and if you want any of these trends specifically styled I can do a full lookbook on that. Also make sure to check out my Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting reels and a bunch of outfits that never make it to my YouTube channel so if you need more fashion content make sure to follow me. Now that that's all done let's start with I guess I'll just go in order of what I've been seeing. I probably started this list like a month ago so this is probably one that all of you have seen you know it's a trend you probably love it because <laughs> i've worn it all the time on my channel and it's coats with a really thick fur trim so i was going to just say like fur coats and when i'm saying fur i mean faux fur unless you thrifted it um i'm not promoting fur in fashion but I just want to get that out of the way because I guess there was some confusion in a past video. But I'm talking about faux fur. All my jackets are faux fur. And all of my fur jackets like this are thrifted. They're vintage. So this one you guys have seen on me a million times if you're subscribed. Uh, this jacket was my mom's. Yeah, was my mom's. She doesn't wear it anymore. She probably got it around 20 years ago at a TJ Maxx. And I've worn it so much the past like three years I think I haven't but I see so many girls really dressing up these kind of coats or dressing them down with just like jeans and a t-shirt and sneakers or putting this over like a dress and tights I love the look of this and I know that these can be harder to find secondhand without paying an arm and a leg um, but there are a lot of smaller brands that have been making this specifically the ones i'm obsessed with right now the first jacket is from sax pots i've been obsessed with sax pots recently like i want their clothes so bad but it is more designer a really high-end price tag that i just cannot afford i'm gonna stick with my vintage piece i don't think you need more than one of these kinds of jackets as i have another one i'll show you in a sec and then the other one is from a smaller brand called Miracle Eye and it's just super 70s and vintage inspired clothing and the jackets they have are unreal. They look just like the one I showed you but a little bit more funky. Um, those ones are pushing around 300 bucks so definitely a little bit pricey but for an amazing suede jacket I think that these are pieces that will obviously just keep coming back and if you get it a little more toned down I think that you can always make it work no matter if the fur trim big funky jackets are in style or not in style I really think that this will always work um, obviously my mom got it 20 years ago and here I am wearing it again the next thing I want to talk about because I want to show my other fur trim jacket but this kind of goes into a different trend that I've been seeing and that is patchwork. This is a fur trim jacket I got off eBay for $50. You guys, if you aren't on eBay, get on eBay. I showed this in a haul video. I don't know which one will be up yet, this or that. This vintage patchwork fur trim jacket, it literally looks so expensive, so high end. And I think that this is such a cute way to incorporate the patchwork into your winter outfits. Will this always be in style? I don't know. So spending a ton of money on that, I can't really justify or imagine justifying it. But if it's something you love and you know you'll love it forever, of course you can spend a lot of money on it and wear it forever. That's what's so cool about trends is like 
sure maybe they go out of style or come back in style but if you wear it all the time and you rock it it doesn't matter if it's trending right now or not um i just like trends because i love seeing new pieces and just imagining different ways of wearing pieces and styling my clothes in a different way the patchwork is also really big with designers right now they have them on jeans um it's like a bunch of patchwork i've seen dresses from zara where it's like a bunch of like bandanas and different kind of printed. It's not just the suede. Pretty easy to find on eBay or in your thrift stores just because it hasn't seemed like it was so big in a while that I feel like you might have luck if you just look secondhand. Honestly, with most trends, you can find them at the very beginning a lot easier at the thrift stores just because most trends aren't brand new. They're things that are just coming back and... If you hop on them quick enough, you can find them secondhand before all the Depop girls do. <laughs> Love the Depop girls though because sometimes it's really nice to just have someone else find it for you. The next thing is more suede, but it's not just suede <laughs> because I can't believe the past three items I've shown are suede, but there's so many different ways of going through all of these pieces. Apparently I just really like suede. It's not just suede, it's fringe. I have been seeing so much fringe, whether it's like western style or just like, or just like super vintage kind of fringe and not the western style. The piece I have that has fringe is this vintage suede Marlboro jacket. My dad found this for me off either ebay facebook marketplace or one of those it was brand new still in the original packaging and i think he got it for around 20 bucks and i think it is just so cool i've had it for about two years now and i've only worn it once just because it didn't really feel like it was super trendy at the time and i didn't know how to style it um but i think i'm a lot more confident with what i wear now so this is kind of a pretty statement jacket but i'm totally fine wearing this but if you want something that's not so crazy out there western would you guys call this crazy out there i don't know this is just like super western if you want something that's a little less out there i've seen leather jackets with the fringe on them that are so cute um black or white i've seen little jumpsuits with fringe on them the skirts the suede skirts with fringe i think are so cute it really just is something really toned down or dressed up which i love and that's basically all my pieces you're gonna catch me wearing any of those jackets with joggers or with a dress i have no in between now no more suede i promise you that was so much suede i can't even believe i own all that suede i didn't even think i liked suede but i do think suede is in right now <laughs> the next one i mentioned that i am obsessed with sax pots right now and sax pots has these metallic shiny printed pants that I want so badly, but they are around $260 and I physically cannot do that. So the next trend is metallic and like shimmer and just sparkly, <laughs> but a good way of describing it. But I've been seeing so much glitter and bright colored glitter and metallic prints and fabrics and mostly in pants. So on eBay I found... <laughs> These blue super sparkly pants. Um, I'm getting so many mixed signals about these. I post them on my Instagram and you guys really seem to like them. My mom thinks they look like a dance costume, which they do until you put them on. Like, come on, mom. Jackson, my brother, is disgusted that I even spent money on these. But, you know, if you're not offending somebody with your fashion, you're probably doing it wrong. Not everybody can like what you do and if everybody does, it's probably just because you're dressing boring. I don't know if that was mean, but it's it's true. Like, these bring me so much joy, so I don't care what anybody else says. I paired them with just like a white button-up and you just super tone them down or a crew neck. It just works somehow, in my opinion. I love them. If you're not into the super bright metallic, which I totally understand because they are out there, <laughs> I think that just the silver metallic kind of denim is going to be really in. I saw a pair on Zara and they were completely sold out. I wanted to get my hands on them, but I'm going to try and find them secondhand or on eBay. I got those pants off eBay. I don't know if I said that. I get everything off eBay. <laughs> but I think if you want to go into the metallic trend, doing that with the pants is still pretty bold, but it's more of a neutral color. And I just love the look of these super 
shimmery out there items and you just tone it down so even if you found a top like that and just wearing it with a pair of jeans just to and sneakers just so toned down but you're like she's wearing disco ball pants and it's just ugh, amazing i love it so those with a pair of sneakers and a crew neck is so cute right now but if you want something even more toned down maybe like a little bag or an accessory a belt something like that just to dip your toe in but i feel like i feel like that's going to be a trend i don't know i haven't seen anyone else talk about it and sometimes when i talk about these things i'm like is it just my curated pinterest and instagram telling me that these things are trends and they're not actually trends and you guys are going to be like what the heck i've never heard of any of those things what but so ugly like yeah me too <laughs> okay and then the last trend I want to talk about I feel like it is a weird one and I don't know if it's a reach but it's just insane amount of layering layering has always been a trend I really think that the way to look like you tried a lot harder than you did is layering your clothing but the reason I say this now is because I've been seeing so many of those like super cropped like turtleneck shirts I don't have one I think I want to DIY one though it seems like it'd be pretty easy and just showing that you're wearing so many layers underneath it and I love that look even with like these sweater vests I think that this was like one of the first things dipping our toes into that in extreme layering because you don't just wear a sweater vest on its own normally you're gonna put it over a t-shirt over a hoodie over a crew neck long sleeve whatever but now if you have one of those little crop um, turtleneck kind of shirts, you would have like a bralette or a tank top underneath. You would have that uh, turtleneck and then you could have a jacket on top. Even putting like a hoodie under a giant jacket and then like having a scarf or something. Or I've been wearing these little belts all the time. All the time. I haven't been going anywhere. <laughs> but when I take my Instagram pictures and do my TikTok stuff... I've been putting these little belts on and I think that these help so much with that extreme layering because I'll put on really baggy pants and then <laughs> a really baggy sweatshirt and then my big jacket over top or blazer and then a jacket and then I'll put this belt around the smallest part of my waist and just really cinch it in so you don't lose everything under all that fabric. So I don't know if it's a lot of fabric is the trend or extreme layering. But it's what I've been seeing on my Pinterest and it's just girls and they're wearing a lot. There's a lot going on, whether it's the fabric, the accessories, the prints, the textures. It's just everything's going on at once. It's like extreme maximalist vibes and I love that look. I love all this craziness going on and then these girls just pull it together. And boys, I've been seeing boys wearing... The really long trenches that are super in right now that could be another trend on its own but I feel like we've talked about that before the long trenches like down to your feet and then the hoodie and the baggy like sweatpants and then really like bulky shoes and just I love that so much of the women's and men's fashion is really blending together and that line that used to be so distinct of the two it's not really there anymore and I love that because I love men's fashion and I find a lot of my Pinterest board ends up being men's clothing and that's where I get a lot of my inspo because it's really not that different from the women's clothing that I'm seeing on my Pinterest board which is just amazing. I only love growth. But that's it for my five winter 2020 trends. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love making these kinds of videos because it just really makes me look through my Pinterest and think about what I want to be wearing this upcoming season and what I want to be shopping for or looking through my closet to see can I wear this in the way that I want to now. Make sure to <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe if you want to and follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all of those things and I'll see you guys in a few days for a brand new video. I love you so much. Bye.